Alrighty guys, Animal Crossing New Horizons is just a few hours away and I know you're all probably very excited, but before you load up the game for the first time and get started, I want to go over just a few small details about the island map that you might not uh, know about and you're going to want to know about before deciding on the island that you're going to be stuck with for the rest of the game. Now I know what you might be thinking, with the ability to terraform your island the way you want, there might not be a reason to be very picky about your initial island. But now that the game's been released to reviewers, we know a few of the parts of the map that you are not going to be able to modify later in the game. And I'm going to go over these in this video so that you can keep them in mind when you're choosing a map. So with that said, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video. So here you can see I have an example map. The first thing to note is the entire beach area, everywhere where the sand is, cannot be terraformed. So anywhere where there's sand or the rocks in the sand, basically just your entire beach, you're not going to be able to terraform that or change it once you pick an island. Uh, there's also going to be two river exits that cannot be moved. One of them will always be facing the south side. The other one can be facing any direction, east, west, or south. Um, so that's something to consider if you were looking to do any kind of fancy river shapes or anything like that. At this time, I don't know if the two exits need to actually be connecting or if you can split them up or do your own thing with them. Not 100% sure. If you happen to be watching this video like a day or two after the game's launch, be sure to check the comments of this video because I'm going to be posting there once I have an answer for that. Um, but for now, I'm going to assume that the two river entrances need to connect. So keep that in mind when you're picking an island. The next thing is the airport. The airport will always be to the south and it cannot be moved. And uh, there's also town center, which is in the middle of the map here. Um, it hasn't been confirmed if we're gonna be allowed to move it or not, but consider that this is not just a, a standard building. It's more similar to the plaza in the previous Animal Crossing games uh, where events happen, where special characters will probably be hanging out there. So my guess is that you're probably not going to be able to move the town center. Now this is still speculation, so again, give me a few days. I'm gonna update the video in the comment section here if I discover any of this information is false. Um, but I think it's a pretty safe bet that the town square or the town center, whatever you wanna call it, I don't think you're gonna be able to move that. So you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to that and uh, pay close attention to where that community center is gonna be. And then finally, there's the dock, uh, and what I'm calling the grass dock. There's actually like two kind of docks. Um, obviously, the first dock is the wooden dock that you do your fishing on, you know, all that stuff. Um, but if you look over here, you'll see there's kind of like a little bit of a grass dock. It kind of sticks out into the ocean. Um, and it kind of serves as like a little bit of a divider between the, the beach, it kind of chops it up a bit. Uh, not too sure exactly what it is, probably a good spot for some fishing, but regardless, every island will have one of these, and it cannot be terraformed from what I can see. So keep that in mind when you are picking your islands. These are the five things that uh, you're not going to be able to change. The town center, the airport, the dock, the grass dock, and the river entrance and exit. So. Keep all these things in mind when you're picking your first map. Uh, remember guys, if you don't like any of the maps that are shown to you, I believe uh, four maps get shown to you in the beginning of the game. If you end up not liking any of those, you can always just uh, reset the game and re-roll them, get some new ones. So really put some thought into it. Don't, don't settle for the first four choices you're given. If you don't like any of them, just re-roll it and try again. Ultimately, you will be able to terraform like 99% of the island, so I don't think that this decision is going to be as impactful as it was in previous Animal Crossing games, but you still don't want to be in a position where eight months into the game, you finally got your town looking perfect, but you're just like, damn, I really wish I had a bigger beach at the bottom rather than these two rivers or anything like that. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up, a little video here to kind of uh, kick things off. I am super, super excited to be getting into some Animal Crossing content. You guys have no idea how long I've been waiting for this game. So I will be streaming it the moment it goes live, I believe at 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time for me, which will be in a couple hours after this video uploads. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe because I'm going to be making so, I'm gonna make so much uh, Animal Crossing content and I will be streaming it today probably like 24 hours straight once I finally get a chance to play it. So hope you guys are uh, uh, enjoying the video. Thank you all so much. Hope you guys found it useful. And I will see you guys on Animal Crossing New Horizons in a few hours, everybody. See you later. Have a good one.